Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Rob here from Cue Balls Reef. So, we're going to do a quick video today on creating this aquascape using the negative space mentality that uh, Ryan from BRS has made so popular lately. So, this is my first attempt and we'll take a look here at how we did it, what we used, how much time it took and how big of a mess I made so let's take a look all right so what I did basically was just take 40 pounds of rock some of it was from my local fish store some of it was from uh, eBay ordered from eBay and had it delivered um, not sure what kind of rock it was but it broke up nice and easy so I can't complain so what I'm using here is uh, super glue from BRS the insta set from BRS and some epoxy from instant ocean uh, this stuff comes in a tube um, it's basically putty uh, the outside is green the inside is white when you take the two pieces and start m mashing them together they become epoxy and I use that to kind of fill in the gaps and help hold the rocks together uh, I use this stuff also when I'm mounting corals because it's perfect for using that so what I'll do is I'll mash up a little ball put some glue on one side Put it in place where I want it to go and then put glue on the other side uh, kind of push it together and use the insta set so you can see here I'm just kind of using the epoxy and the super glue and then I use a old screwdriver to kind of really smash it into the little areas and nooks and crannies and then you hit it with that insta set and 10 or 15 seconds later it's holding pretty well in place I can move the aquascape I can start adding new pieces no problems just looking through all my little rock rubble here to try and find pieces that'll fit in certain places and kind of give me that negative space look it's really not that hard it's just time consuming um, this whole first piece took me probably about two hours just to kind of get it to the way I liked it Now we're taking some of these smaller rubble pieces and just gluing them. Sometimes I don't use the epoxy. It depends on how big the rock is and the space that I'm trying to get it into. I did use a whole tube. This is the big bottle of BRS glue to uh, complete this little project you use a little bit more than you think I think I went overkill with it but hey it's not that expensive and I wanted to make sure that this was held in place and that I did things right because this is my forever tank so I kind of want to do things right the first time and not have to worry about coming back and doing it later All right, so this was almost the finished product. As you can see, can't really see where any of the glue joints are because that super glue 
dries fairly quickly and almost clear. So now we're going to move on to the cement. So I'm using the eMarco 400. This stuff is a two part. Comes in this handy little bucket, which is impossible to open, but I got it. Um, this is the liquid part, which you have to mix with some water. The instructions tell you how to do it. I see a lot of people not doing that and wondering why their stuff isn't working. Well, that's why. So I mixed it, mixed it with water, give it a little shake. Now we're going to mix in the dry cement with the liquid part. So it's very easy to mix up too much of this, which I did. Uh, you do not need a lot of the powder. And you can see here that I'm adding more because I put too much liquid in. And it's kind of a, a guessing game. So I mix this up to about the thickness of uh, honey. That way I could let it seep into all the cracks of all the joints that I was trying to keep connected. Um, didn't have any problem doing that. It didn't run as much as I thought. And I just used the little paint scraper that they give you to kind of just drip it into all the little joints. And hopefully this stuff will give me a really good connection and keep those joints from separating over time. So I didn't really do this as an exact science. I was just kind of taking the paint scraper, taking some of the cement and just letting it run into the cracks and crevices of each joint. So as you can see here, this is the product with the cement poured into all the joints. I really laid it on thick in the heavy supporting joints because I didn't want this thing breaking apart. So here's the final view while it's in the tank. Now I am going to take some sand and some more super glue and kind of try and hide all the cement. But this is what it's looking like so far. Not bad for my first attempt. <laughs> 